Hello, Chooks. Good afternoon. Yeah, so this is um, three, four days after your event here, the men's shot put final at the Olympics. You finished, you know, an impressive sixth position. You've had some days, you know, to look back, to reflect, and even to enjoy the experience. Mm. What do you have to say today? Yeah, um, you know, sixth place, I'm proud that um, I was able to make that final uh, on the qualifying day and then made the final on the final day. So that's huge for me. It's a little bit of an uh, uh, overachievement because I came in ranked number nine. So to finish top six, it's it's huge. There's, but the competitor in me always wants more. So I know that I could have been a little bit closer, you know, maybe to the medals or maybe to the top five position. It, it was well within my reach, but the year has been so long and there have been some snags in my training. So I'm, I'm really happy that I came out of it, you know, healthy. And top six is nothing to, to scoff at. So looking at the year, you've had a busy year. You improved on the national record this year. Um, you retained your African title. You qualified for the Olympics. Which will you um, pick out as the highlights of the season for you? Highlight of the season? So is, far. The season hasn't ended for you yet. That's very true. Uh, but the highlight, I think, was the the new Nigerian record, 2191 at the Prefontaine Classic. That was only my second Diamond League. The first Diamond League I went to was in Rome 2019, and it didn't go so well. And um, it was just mentally it was difficult to, to get geared up for another Diamond League because it was kind of a sore spot in my mind. So to go there, to throw a personal best, especially at, at this point in my career, it's huge. It lets me know I'm doing the right things. And I was in such good shape that I threw that, and I was just like, I kind of shrugged my shoulders and was ready to, to throw some more. So that kind of confidence, I hadn't felt that kind of confidence in a long time. So it's, it's going to stick in my mind. For, even if I extend that record, that'll stick in my mind for a long time. Because at that point, I'd gone four years without a PB outdoors. So it, it's a huge deal for me. And then coming very close to the 22-meter mark, you know, mm. how does that motivate you? I want to get 22 meters over with. Because <laughs> me personally, I don't care that much about the number, but other people do. And... As an athlete, I'm a representative, I'm an ambassador, um, I'm a symbol. So if they want to see it, it's up to me to deliver it. So I want to get that mark, I want to get it over with. And, you know, obviously you want to throw as far as possible. So 22 meters is on the, on the way to throwing as far as possible. Um, so Chooks, you are a two-time Olympian. Tell us the kind of work and dedication it takes, you know, to remain consistent at this level. It takes a lot. Um, my coaches in New York, in New York, in America, are um, the reason that I'm still able to do this. Um, my girlfriend, her family, my family. It's it's a group effort, and um, you know sometimes it makes me emotional because I don't know if it's worth continuing on the hard days. But when I get the the top six finish at the Olympics, I throw far for basically at this point like eight months straight. Um, it lets me know that the work doesn't go unnoticed. So it takes a lot. I work out five or six days a week. Um, I do this full time because that's the only way that I can throw as far and as consistently as I can. Um, the weight training, I mean, I, I bench press a quarter ton every week, things like that. Like it, I put my body through a lot. And even worse than the physical toll is the mental toll because every time you step out there, you're by yourself. You can't hand off the baton. You know, you can't wait on somebody else. You can't pass the ball. Like, it's just you. So shot put to me is more of a performance than, than sport in a sense because you have to give your very best when it, all the eyes on you, all cameras are on you. So, you know, I, I suffer with anxiety, so it kind of is a, a big deal for me. But I've sort of honed my craft and mastered um, the, the ability to perform and also have fun. So it, it takes a lot, but I think at this point I've, I've sort of mastered it. Um, so for some people, the season will be ending after the Olympics, but you said your season isn't ending anytime soon. No. I'm already back to work. So I have uh, at least seven competitions uh, lined up, a few Diamond League meetings, a few gold level meetings. And, um, you know, of course I'm tired and it's been a long year, but it's a blessing because a lot of people don't get to continue their seasons and a lot of people don't get to have these opportunities to better their rankings or, you know, maybe if the Olympics didn't go quite according to plan, you still have some more opportunities to, to improve that. You know, make the people happy, make yourself happy before you hang it up for the year. So I'm going to take full advantage of these opportunities coming up. Okay. And then are there any other expectations you have for this season? Um, we'll see. I, the body is a little bit tired, but I know there's things that I can still tweak and um, 
now that I have about a month left of season, there's more time than in the lead up to the Olympics. So I might be able to surpass my performance this year. So that, I'm looking forward to that. And to those who have supported you on this journey thus far, your fans, what would you want to say to them? I, it's always thank you. And one thing I've noticed, I'm always scared to look myself up and to read articles and stuff like that. But every now and again, I peek you know, at the comments and stuff. And people have been really, really supportive as of late. And that means a whole lot. You know, it's, it's, I'm not scared to do poorly. I never want to do poorly. But I'm not scared to at this point because people can see that I've been chipping away. I've been improving. Um, and I, you know, I never forget people that support me and I'm, I'm getting that kind of love from the community at large. So I just want to say thank you so much. Um, if you keep up that support, I'm going to keep improving. Well, even if you don't keep it up, I'm going to keep improving and trying my best as a competitor, but it means a lot to me to make you guys proud, make you guys happy and also make you guys smile. So as I'm throwing, I'm not just throwing the ball. Like I'm, I'm also trying to entertain you guys and let you have something to, to look forward to. So thank you so much for the support. And thank you for your consistency for Team Nigeria. All the best. I appreciate it. Thank you.